what's going on youtube welcome back to another video of the 30 days of scaling in today's video we're going to be talking about the three best marketing channels to scale a real estate company now i decided for the month of september to do 30 straight videos teaching you how to scale your real estate operation now if you're new i recommend you go back to the 30 days of wholesaling my last series that i did and if you're not new and this is your first video of the 30 days of scaling i highly recommend you start in day one so you get caught up on the entire business Don't don't want you to miss all the gems that we've already talked about. So without further ado, let's get started in today's video. Hey, I'm Alex Sines. At 18, I was broke, depressed, and living at a trailer park. Then I discovered real estate wholesaling, and in only three short years, I was able to grow a million dollar real estate business. Over the last few years, I've been able to help hundreds and hundreds of real estate investors just like you start, grow, and scale their own business. If I can change my life, so can you. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. So look, the best three marketing channels to scale, right? There's a ton of marketing channels, uh, but I wanna focus on the most scalable ones that I personally uh, believe in and that have worked for me. Uh, with that said, let's move on. So number one, cold calling, right? This is no surprise to anybody, it shouldn't be. Uh, look, few things on why you should. Uh, I, I really believe it's the best entry level marketing. Um, it's the one that you can, if you're new and you have no budget, you can get into. And if you have a budget, you can easily scale, right? So if you have 10, 20, $30,000 to spend on marketing, I would recommend hiring cold callers to start calling for you and start producing tons and tons of leads. Now, uh, it, it's now a few things that I'll just, you know, go down the line here, low cost per lead, um, you know, you're going to be paying, you know, 30 to 40, $50 cost per lead in some markets. It may be as much as a hundred. Uh, but if you know how many leads you need to get a deal. So in our last videos, let's say per, you need 50 leads to get one deal. You know, your callers need to produce those 50 leads to get that one deal. Right? So let's say, you know, your cost per lead, right? So this means that for a caller, you know, for every lead that they produce, it's costing you $50, right? And then you need 50 leads to close one deal. It's going to cost you $20. $2,500 per deal, right? But if you're selling the deal at 25,000, that's a 10 X, right? So, uh, the cost per lead is just how much every lead costs you with, uh, with your, your caller, your dialer, your data. And if you do it right, then you're going to produce a, a massive ROI, you know, five, you know, four or five, six X plus. So low cost per lead for cold calling. It's easy to do, right? It's, it is, you know, low, lower barrier of entry. It's easy to do, but I recommend that you don't do it yourself. If you don't have cold calling experience, then start cold calling, get some experience with it, but try to hire as fast as possible because you want to free up your time. Again, that's a $5 an hour task. You don't want to be spending all of your time on cold calling when you should be working on the higher ticket items in the business proactive marketing uh what i love about cold calling too is like you get a yes or no immediately right like if you send direct mail which i do believe in you know it takes you know them to call you to say yes or no but with cold calling if you get them on the line you can immediately know whether they're interested or not so it's really proactive you are in control you are in control right you can uh increase your callers you can add more data you can really be the uh you know in control of your destiny immediate human interaction again you get immediate answers you're calling the leads that everyone's mailing to right so you're just getting again faster answers scalable and easy to fire and rehire right the, the beautiful thing and for for me like the biggest lesson is we use uh call centers now because i had a team of 25 20 25 cold callers that i was training myself and let me tell you what man that was really tough to do it took a lot of time 2017 18 i was having daily calls i was doing weekly uh meetings on skype with cold callers all across the, the world from india to uh, egypt to philippines it was it just took a lot of time right the moment i started hiring a call center it changed everything because that wasn't the point of contact i would talk to one person and then they would talk to my 10 15 20 callers so i definitely recommend to hire uh agencies uh, and then look, I'm just going to give it all services needed for cold calling, you know, write this down all in dialer.com. Uh, it's going to forward you to the, uh, to an affiliate partnership that we are partnered with, uh, Zen call. We have our, all of our dialers with them. All of our community, our students use all in dialer.com. It'll give you a $90 a month per seat. Uh, which is very cheap, right? Like I remember when I first started, I was paying like 170 a month for Mojo, uh, another cold calling platform. 
and uh, dialer but now we i mean we save literally half the cost with all in dialer and it's better right the platform the interface is way better uh need to skip.com again th that is a skip tracing platform that i use and that i have used for the last four years right uh, i've spent a lot of money uh in, in investing in the data and need to skip.com uh go sign up with them if you are skip tracing over let's say like ten thousand records message me on instagram and i will hook you up with special special pricing um i have access to that and then hercules is our crm right so you need a crm which is a a you know a platform where you can host all of your leads right so as your cold callers are um generating leads calling sellers you want all of those leads to be going to your crm where they can stay organized you don't want them going to a piece of yellow paper notepad and then they get lost right so you want to make sure that every lead that is generated that you're keeping track that you don't lose uh because you're spending your hard-earned money on marketing vumber call well again these are just caller ids right uh, so if you're going to atlanta you can get an area code number local to there you can use those two services scorecard you know for scorecard i just recommend like an Excel sheet. Uh, we have some for our elite students. Can't give those out uh, unless you're part of our mentorship. But for the scorecard, just you know, track you know how many leads a day you're getting, um, how many dials your callers are are, are dialing, hours on the phones, um, your list quality, your list health, and again, all of these things. Uh, CallGeeks.com makes it really easy. Like I don't want to hard pitch CallGeeks, but they give you guys like full reports uh, if you're doing your own callers and you just want to keep track of this on your own. Upwork.com, Outbounders.com. These are virtual agents that you can uh, get access to. A really good one, actually yesterday, I just found out about them on one of our student calls is remote.com. I haven't tried them, but I heard great things about remote.com, uh, virtual assistants. Look, so that's number one. Cold calling, I highly recommend. It's extremely scalable and you can, uh, you can blow up your business by investing in cold callers and data um, and just blowing that channel up. Channel number two, direct mail right direct mail is you know what is it again it's it's postcards it's yellow letters it's professional cards how we do it really we've sent out all types of lists right but right now we just target um our absentees and land so that's what we're doing for direct mail um how do we do it uh just went over that what service turboletters.com yes i'm affiliated with them uh just set, tell them that alex sent you and uh and again i'm gonna bully them for some better pricing for you guys but turboletters.com you can just go and create an account you can look at other templates you can see what works uh, for you or what you like i recommend the google street view postcard the one here in the middle uh, that's worked really well um, and then uh, typical yellow letter still works and for land, we're doing professional letters. So we're just doing professional letters uh, because uh, we're, we're targeting big plots of land for development. So we wanna position ourselves as a credible authority company. Uh, golden address, high return rate. So it, depending on your list, if you target it, say you target, you know, you direct mail a code violation list or a probate inheritance, it can it can produce a high uh, return. And it's, well, high return rate means the response rate with direct mail. But what I mean here by high return is it can produce high ROI, a high profit, right? Uh, I've had campaigns where we spent, you know, 10, 12,000 and it's produced 200,000 plus in deals, 200,000 plus in deals. Um, and I've heard of people mailing, you know, a thousand dollars and then getting fifty thousand dollars in deal right so you know don't be afraid to uh scale up your direct mail my thing is mail that list you know see how it produces and if it produces you know mail it again you know or follow up we've mailed a list as much as like four or five times because it keep it kept producing and producing and producing and it just uh it was super profitable right so if, if you're getting a bunch of deals from a specific list keep hitting that list and if and if it works with direct mail start cold calling that list start doing you know sms rvm do all of it to that list uh, because it's it's profitable. So that's it for direct mail. That's uh, that's number two for um, not in order, but these are just the top three. Uh, you can choose what best fits your business and your market, but direct mail is an easy way to scale and get the phones ringing in your business. Number three, which is uh, actually now my favorite, right? I was a cold calling king for the, you know, the last four years and then come 20, 2021, man, I started positioning my company to digital marketing, right? Actually 2020. Uh, started positioning my company to, to digital marketing. And the reason why is there's marketing waves, right? So if you see here on the screen, you know, 2017, 2018, even to this day, cold calling was the marketing wave. Everybody was cold calling. 2019 to 20, you know, everybody was doing SMS. And then now I really believe we're in a digital age. I really believe if you don't have a website, it can really hurt your business because you lack credibility uh, with sellers, right? You know, every major company has a website, right? So if you want to start making major 
your company money, you gotta treat your, your company like a major company and invest into uh, credibility through an online presence. So what is it? Look, digital marketing is anything, everything online, right? That's social media, that's blogs, that's search engine optimization, that is uh, Google ads, Bing, Yahoo, all of it, right? Duck, duck, go ads, whatever you, you wanna call it. You know, why, you, why do it? Um, again, digital uh, marketing is the new wave, you know, and how I look at it is, you know, cold calling and all of these, uh, you know, invasive, because that's what they are, invasive marketing strategies, they can, uh, they can be shut down any moment. But Google, right here on the right, is a friend of everybody, and they're huge, I mean, multi, multi billion, hundred billion plus dollar company, they're not going anywhere, right? And if they, happen to go somewhere, then we should all be scared because if Google fails, then I don't know what will survive. Google is not going anywhere. So I like to look at it like I'm on the uh, shoulders of giants, right? So I want to position my company where I'm always in business. And I think the best way to do that is by having uh, your, your company, you know, tell the likes of Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. How do you start? Um, you know, starting, there is no perfect way to start. Um, I am creating a digital marketing course. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely have that available for our, our, uh, you know, mentorship students. I recommend, you know, the way I did it was I just, I just came up with a name on GoDaddy, you know, and then I built a website, right? I built my website and I still recommend this company, goldlevelmarketing.com, goldlevelmarketing.com. My really good uh, friend, Efren owns it. You can reach out to him directly. Just go to goldlevelmarketing.com, call them and let them know Alex sent you and, uh, and they'll work on a, on a great price for you guys. Um, I know that he's extremely reasonable with pricing. Um, so, you know, reach out to them, but they've done all our website. They do our SEO. Yeah. That's, that's my plug, right? That's, that's, that's my go-to, but yeah. So, I mean, the process is, you know, go daddy, find a brand name, you know, uh, something area home buyers, you know, Phoenix home You know, that's probably taken, but my point is you want something with home buyers or home group or property solutions or, uh, offer you know home offer are really good names yeah so you get a domain you get a website and then after that you can either you know start some google ads uh, which i recommend finding somebody that already knows because i try to learn it on my own and it took me a few years right so if you want to spend a few years learning on your own go ahead i just recommend that you find somebody that already knows what to do and my recommendation for that is uh magnusdigital.com magnusdigital.com uh, for uh, PPC campaigns and then websites, any type of SEO that you need or logos, go to goallevelmarketing.com. Those are my plugs and I've used, I use them, right? So in this channel, like I wanna recommend things I use. Um, I do have partnerships with them, uh, just in full transparency, but the quality of work is there. So if you ask around the industry, take in recommendations from whoever, I just wanna give you guys mine. So a few things I really wanna anchor is uncharted territory, right? Like digital marketing, it's a harder barrier of entrance, right? It's harder to learn, but once you learn, you realize that there's less players, right? So if, if you know, we've, we do live events and every time we do a live event, we ask the question, hey, who's cold calling? Every 200 people raise their hands. And then we ask, okay, who's, who's doing PPC, digital marketing? And there's like two people, right? And I'm not exaggerating here, like 200 people cold calling, two people, you know, two to five people, on digital marketing. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna be a contrarian and go where there's less people because it's, it's you know, probably cheaper leads, more exclusive access to leads, uncharted territory, less competition, and all the all the above. So there's a real life example. This has happened at, at our events every single time, and we've thrown like nine, 10 events now. Hottest leads, again, these are people calling you. So the, the quality of lead is just so much higher. Uh, on the third thing, so like a cold calling conversion, you know, for a cold call lead, there is some leads that, you know, want to close quick and you can just get the deal closed ASAP, you know, a week or two. Uh, but m more than likely a cold call lead takes like three to six months of follow up and nurturing for you to close that deal. Right. And that's not a bad thing. But with cold calling, you just have to build up your pipeline and get more, more and more leads in your podio, in your CRM and your Hercules. So then you can. Um, you know, get deals. But with the conversion on, on digital marketing, uh, we've closed deals as fast as like two days, right? I think we did one like just under two days. And as fast as, you know, typically they're like a week or two, because again, these people are calling you more often than not, they're uh, a lot more prepared. You know, the, the you know, we get a lot of vacant uh, houses or, or tenant properties, um, but they just know what they want. They're calling you, they want an offer. And if you give them an offer they like, they're gonna sign that contract, that agreement, and you're gonna be able to close 
articles that deal fast, right? So the conversion on digital marketing is so much faster. And this is why it matters because if I spend $10,000 a month on cold calling and it takes me six months to get my return back, or if I spend $10,000 a month on, on digital marketing and it takes me a month to get my return back, the cash on cash return is just so much faster and greater. By the time, you know, six months go by, you've made, you know, a million dollars compared to a hundred thousand dollars with cold calling. And again, those aren't accurate numbers, but for me, like if you said, hey, uh, give me a thousand, I'll give it to you in six months. I'll give you a return in six months. Or you said, hey, uh, give me a thousand, I'll give it to you in 30 days. I'm gonna take the 30 days because I want my money back in my bank account ASAP. Right, so you gotta look at marketing in that way where the conversions is something to take into account. And with digital marketing, it's a lot faster uh, deal conversion. And, and all that means is from the time you get the lead to the time you close is just much faster. And the last thing, and I'll, I'll dive deeper into this in our acquisition sections here in a few days, uh, but this just gives you instant credibility and presence, right? So if you're on a phone call with a seller, a lot of times they do ask for, hey, what's your website? You know, where are you guys located? And having that handy, giving them uh, that, you know, making sure that you're registered on, on Yelp, on Google Maps, BBB, uh, Better Business Bureau. By having all of that set, it just increases your credibility and presence um, on, on seller phone calls. And that just helps you much more on getting deals under contract. It helps tremendously. This is a hack. You know, I'm giving everything away on this channel. And again, all I ask is that you like, subscribe, comment down below. But that is it for day five of the 30 days of scaling. Uh, we are, we're going, we're pushing. And guys, before I hop off, you know, go send me a message on Instagram. You know, let me know what you think of the series. Um, if you send me a message, uh, I'll send you a link to our uh, free book, uh, free book link, uh, where it will teach you more and more on what is this business all about. That's it for day five. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's go.